Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for joining me again on Worship Guitar Now. I'd like to give a huge thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos and liking them and subscribing to the channel. I just passed 6,000 views and that's a huge deal for a small channel. And it's all because of awesome people like you who are watching my videos. A little while back I did a video to finding the key for any song using just one finger and one string. Well that video did so well that I'd like to do another video today and teach you how to find the chords to any major key using that same method with just one finger. So just give me a moment to reposition my camera and my lighting and we'll do this together. So I'm back. Let's take a look at this together. And I'll try not to make it complicated. And if you ever have any questions, you can comment on the video and ask me a question and I'll be glad to answer it for you. So as I've said before in my previous videos, the guitar neck works chromatically. And what that means is each fret is a semitone. And the way that the music scale works is goes as follows. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, and so on. And so does the guitar neck. Now music on the guitar neck is all about patterns and shapes and formulas. And that's no different when you're figuring out the major scale. And the way that we figure out the notes in a major scale is with a formula. And the major scale formula goes as follows. Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Now when you're working in the major key for a major scale, that never changes. It's always whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And the way that that relates to the guitar is as follows. A whole step would be two frets. A half step would be one fret. So our major scale would be whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So for the purpose of not making things complicated and making them as easy as possible, Let's work today in the key of C major, because there's no sharps or flats, so this will be easy to show you. Now keep in mind that it doesn't matter what key you're trying to find the notes or the chords for, the formula always stays the same. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, as long as we're trying to find the scale or the chords in the major key. Now if you're looking in the minor keys, that formula changes, but today let's stick to the major key to keep things easy. So if we wanted to find the notes in the major key, it would go as follows. Let's start on the note C. And we have a C note on our A string, which is our second string down on the third fret. That's our note C. So let's use our formula to find the notes in the key of C major. So we have C, of course, which is our root note. Then we move up a whole step, or two frets. And our next note would be D. Move up a whole step, or two frets again. Our next note would be E. Now we move up a semitone, or a half step, or one fret. And that's an F. Now we're back to whole steps again. So we move up two frets, which would bring us to our next note, G. Two more frets would bring us to our next note, A. Two more frets, or another whole step, would bring us to our next note, B. And then our final step is a half a step, which brings us back to our root note, C. So we have C, which is our root, whole step to D, whole step to E, half step to F, whole step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, and then a half step to C again. Now there's a second formula we're going to use today. Now your first note, C, is always going to be a major chord when you're working in a major key. So today we're working in a key of C, 
So of course, that's going to be C major. Now let's follow our formula a little more. And we're going to move up to our second note, D. And there's going to be a chord there too. But that's going to be a minor chord. Because when you're working in the major key, your number two chord is always minor. We'll move up to our next note, which is E, and that's also going to be a minor. Because again, when you're working in a major key, your number three chord is always minor. Then we move up to our four chord, and it's major. When we're working in a major key, it's always major, your number four chord, as well as your number five chord, which is G. Now sometimes you hear of chord progressions, and a common chord progression is 1-4-5 in the major key. So that would be C, F, G. So, so far we found out that our 1 chord is major, our 2 chord is minor, our 3 chord is minor, our four chord is major, our five chord is major. Now we're moving on to our six chord, which is a whole step up to A, and our six chord is going to be minor again. And again, these formulas never change when we're trying to find the notes or the chords for a major scale. So we're on our six chord, which is A. And that's going to be a minor. So we have one chord major, two chord minor, three chord minor, four chord major, five chord major, six chord minor. And now a little wrench is going to get thrown into things. Because our seventh chord, when we're working in a major key, is going to be something different altogether. It's going to be a diminished chord. So we still move up a whole step, which brings us to B, but it's not going to be major or minor. It's going to be diminished. Today we won't talk about that. We'll talk about that in a later video. We'll keep it simple today. So in the scale, we have the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and back to C, our root note. And the chords go as follows, C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and back to C major again. Again, this formula is movable anywhere on the guitar neck. If you wanted to find the notes and the chords in a different key, such as G major, you would still use the same formula. You would find a G note, which would be on your top string on the third fret, and you would move two frets to find your next note, two frets to find your next note after that, then one fret, and then two frets, two frets, two frets, and one fret. It would go as follows. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and half step. As long as you're working in the major key, that never changes. No matter whether you're looking for the chords and the notes in the key of C major, G major, A major, any key, it doesn't matter. I hope you found this video helpful today. If you're finding it a little complicated, don't get discouraged. Just rewind the video and watch it a couple times. I'm sure as you put it into practice, it'll get easier each time. So if you're ever sitting around jamming with your friends and they ask you what chords are in the key of G major or A major or C major, show them just how simple it is to find that out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, I want to thank everybody who's been watching the videos and liking them and subscribing to the channel. If you enjoyed this video today, please like and subscribe. It's people like you who make this channel better.